whenever I have the variable. So please understand. So I will be having the variable which is constant and final. We don't have the concept of multiple inheritance in the Java. That's why we have the concept of interfaces no implementation in the interface is what you need to understand i will be instantiating the class with the help of object but there is no concept for the interface that i cannot instantiate with the help of object for interface hello everyone i welcome all of you to the very interesting session on interfaces so guys you will be waiting what exactly the interface is all about Yes, so in this session, I will be discussing all these topics with respect to the interfaces. I will be starting with the introduction for the interface first. Then followed by, I will be discussing what exactly the defining interface is all about. How do I define the interface is what I will be showing all of you in the second topic. When it comes to the third topic, how do I extend the interface is what I will be discussing with all of you. Yes. What exactly the next important point which I'm going to discuss? Yes, I will be discussing how do I implement the interface is also a very important topic. So which I will be discussing and the last topic that I will be discussing with all of you is how do I access the interface variable? So this is what the agenda for the session. So in this session, I will be in fact covering the concepts of interfaces. So yes, without wasting much of your time, let me get into the session. So guys, you all know that we have a concept called inheritance. So in that inheritance, we have discussed even in detail, we have five different types of inheritance. Especially, we don't have the concept of multiple inheritance in the Java. So to overcome from this drawback, we have the concept called interfaces that's the most important point that you need to remember i repeat for all of you please make a note of it we don't have the concept of multiple inheritance in the java that's why we have the concept of interfaces so find how exactly the interfaces is looking like so that is a major important question for all of us yes so guys interface is basically a kind of a class Interface is basically a kind of a class. Yes, I will be answering all these questions to all of you in my coming slide. So let's check what is that I have. So guys, how do I define the interface is the next important question. So by understanding how to define the interface, we will get a complete idea with respect to what exactly the interface is all about. So please observe the syntax to define an interface. Obviously, if I want to define the interface, I should have the keyword that is interface. So please observe this keyword. If I want to define any interface, what is the first thing that I should have? Yes, exactly. So this is the keyword, which is very important to define any interface. Followed by, I should have the name for the interface. That's the most important thing. And please make a note of it. You have to follow the rules of identifiers. Yes, of course, all of you will be knowing that. And then followed by, I will have the open flower bracket and closing flower bracket. There is no difference in that. So guys, so inside this, I will be having two things as usual, like how I have in my class. So that is variable declaration and methods declaration. When it comes to the variable declaration, so please make a note of it. I will be expressing this point even in the next slide also. Whenever I have the variable, so please understand, so I will be having the variable which is constant and final. So that is the important point that you need to understand. Whatever the variable that I have inside the interface, all the variables by default, it will be a constant variable is what you all should know. The second important point, so whenever I take a word called interface, you need to understand that there will be no implementation. So that's what you need to understand. Whenever I say the word interface, it means to, you need to understand that there is no implementation in the interface is what you need to understand. So fine, what exactly that I need to understand more about the interface. So you understood that there is no implementation here. Then where do I implement? So that's the next important question that you need to ask me. I will be answering that in the coming slides. So guys, 
to understand this interface concepts much better. So let me compare this with the class. So why with the class? So you all know that. So we have discussed the concept of classes. So let me compare this interface with the class. So you will have the clear idea. So let me discuss with the first point. The member of the class can be constant or a variable. So point number one. So when it comes to the variables, this is what I'm speaking with respect to. So I can also call this as a member. Yes, exactly. Yes. So when it comes to the class, it can be a normal variable or it can be a constant. It's an option for me. As a developer, I can do it as a constant or I can keep it as a variable. But by default, when it comes to the interface, it should be a constant. That's what you need to understand. So and also their values are final. So that's what you need to remember at this point of time. That's the first important point that you need to remember. Moving forward to the second point, the class definition can contain the code for each of its method that the method can abstract or non-abstract. This is very, very important. Sir and madam, listen to me carefully. Whenever I have a class, obviously I will have my member functions. So for that member functions, I have the option to have the implementation for that member functions, but in this point, you need to understand it's very important. As I told you, there will be no implementation for the methods, what you have inside the interface. That's what they would like to express here. So guys, the methods and the interface are abstract, abstract in the sense, no implementation in the nature. There is no code associated with the, with them and it can later defined by the class that is implements the interface. What exactly they are saying? So inside the interface, if you have the methods, so you will not have any code, you will not have any implementation. So later on, if you are implementing that interface with any class, in that class, you can implement that interface or the method is what they are trying to tell in this point is what you need to remember. So fine, moving forward to the next point. The next point that you have is, it can be instantiated by declaring the object. So guys, I will be instantiating the class with the help of object, but there is no concept for the interface that I cannot instantiate with the help of object for interface. That's the most important thing that you need to remember at this point of time. So moving forward to the last point that I have. So I can use various access specifiers. You all know that. So we have public, private and protected. So public in the sense. So guys, you need to remember I can access the variables or the methods anywhere in the program. So, but when it comes to the private, only within the package, but when it comes to the protected, so please listen to me carefully, I can access the methods or the variables within that package or in the derived package. So I can access that. But when it comes to the interface, I will have to use by default only the public access specifier. So I will not be able to use any of the other access specifiers is what you need to understand. So fine. So we have got the complete, the clear idea with respect to the classes as well as with respect to the interfaces. The main thing that you need to remember with respect to the interfaces is all about there will be no implementation in the interfaces. So moving forward to the next concept. So guys, how do I extend the interfaces? So that's the next important thing that we need to understand. So it's very simple. So how do I extend? So guys, as you all know, so this is the interface that I have defined first. So what is the keyword that I've used? So again, I have used the keyword interface. So there is no change in that. And the next one that I have is the name of the interface. So fine. So whatever the things that you have in the interface, whatever the variables, data members and the member functions that you will be specifying it here. But remember, there is no implementation. So fine after that, sir, you have told that you can implement this in interfaces with a class. But what is that you're trying to do? I'm trying to extend this. I'm trying to extend this. So please observe. So this in interface can be extended, extended under, you know, so guys, I can inherit. So that is the concept that you need to understand here. If I want to inherit, this is the super interface. This is the sub interface. So remember the concept of interfaces. Is it? Yes, not interfaces. Remember the concept of inheritance. Subclass, is it? No, super class and the subclass. Yes, the same concept I'm implementing here, even for the interfaces. 
Yes, my dear students, the same concept. Listen to me carefully. I have the super interface and this is the sub interface. So how exactly I'm doing it? So I have declared the, I have defined the super interfaces and the name of the super interface is item constants. So fine. And I'm, I'm having one more interface. I will call this as a sub interface. So please observe the same thing I'm using. I'm using the keyword called interface. And then, so please understand what is that I have item. So item constants is different. Item is different. That's all you need to understand. The name of the second interface is item extends. This is a keyword that you need to understand, which helps us to extend or inherit. Okay. Item constants. Item constants is this interface. So this is how we extends. This is how we extends the interface. So fine. Hope you understood the concept of extending the interface. Moving forward to the next one that I have. So guys, implementing the interface. How do I implement? Where do I implement? So that's a next uh, important question that all of you will be having. Yes, of course, I will be using the class to implement the interface. So guys, this is the syntax that I have. So how do I use it? So obviously I'll be using the keyword called class, then followed by the name of the class. And then I will be using the keyword called implements. So please observe here, you might get confused. So here to inherit, I'm using the keyword called extend. So, but here I'm trying to implement. So for that, I will be using the keyword called implement. So fine. So what is the, that, what is the name of the interface that you have to give? So which Im interface that you wanted to implement? So that interface name, you will be specifying here. So that's what you need to understand. And then followed by the body of the class, you will be specifying. And however, whatever the methods that you wanted to implement, which you have defined. When it comes to the body of the class, so guys, you have mentioned the method names so you here you will be you will be defining it so you will be implementing that methods in this class is what i would like to tell all of you at this point of time so fine moving forward to the next concept guys this is going to be a very important and interesting topic for all of you to understand the concept of interfaces in detail so please listen to me carefully don't get deviated all right, so I will be completing the session in another few minutes. So stay tuned, watch the video completely. So guys, what is the topic that I have? Various forms of interfaces, various forms of interfaces. So please understand this concept. So guys, uh, the first form that I have. So here I have the interface A. I have uh, uh, defined the interface A. So then I will be implementing this interface with the help of class B. I'm taking a help of class B to implement this interface in e interface e i have just mentioned interface in the reno you have to mention the variables and you have to have the method name but a method you will be implementing in the class b that's what you need to understand so fine moving forward to the next type please understand this is a levels are different that's what you need to observe here in the b so what is that I have? Again, I have uh, interface A and I'm implementing that here. I'm implementing that in the class B and I'm performing the inheritance with class C. So please understand. So this is a different, okay? This is different. That's, that's what you need to observe here. So please observe here. Here also you have multi-level. Here also you have multi-level, but observe. So class B is implementing the interface. Class B is implementing the interface E. But so please observe this class. Is it a class? No, it is a interface. So even this interface is acting as a super interface for this sub interface. That's what you need to observe here. Is it possible, sir? Yes, it is possible. That's what you need to understand here. So fine. So observe the diagram D, what is that I have? I have two classes. I have two classes, but I have only one interface. So what is the meaning of it? So please understand. So two classes can implement one interface. That's what you need to understand separately. Guys, this class is not implementing this interface separately. This class is implementing this interface separately. So fine. Moving forward again. So guys, I have a class D. So class D is implementing the interface C. And then this interface is acting as a super interface and it is getting extended to A and B. That's what you need to understand. 
So fine, that is also possible. Sir, yen sir the interface, interface yelled an edra. Imagine I have a car. Okay. For that car, I have no engine, no tire, no interiors. I will give you that as it is the body of the car. So you can do it whatever you want. You can alter the car however you want. That is what I will call as the implementation. The body of the car is your interface. That's what you need to understand. All right. So moving forward to the next topic. So guys, accessing the interface variables. So this is what we will be understanding. Okay. So with an example, I will show you. So how exactly I will be accessing the variables of interfaces. So let's check that. So observe this is a keyword and the name of the interface is A. And I have declared two variables. You have to remember the variables of the interface is a constant. So that's an important point that you need to remember the value will not change. So M is equal to 10 and uh, N is equal to 50. So that's what a value that I have and I have created the class. So class B implements class A. So please observe the keyword that I'm using implements. So A in the sense it is interface. So fine, I'm trying to access the value of M and I'm trying to store that in the X. That's what you need to observe here. And then I have the method which I have declared. So this is how I will be accessing the variable of interface in the class. So this is what you need to remember with respect to the accessing a variable with respect to the interface. So guys, with this, I have come to an end of this session. Hope this session was helpful to understand the concept of interfaces. Thank you. Bye-bye.